Previously on Big Brother. <laughs> the house guests graduated from their cliques and began a battle of endurance. And one by one, they failed the test. <laughs> Until only Jeff and Russell remained. So now what, man? Are we gonna be here all night or what? I don't know. I think we want the same person. You really want Ronnie out here? Yeah. Exhausted and at the breaking point, they made a deal. He's going to I'm safe. You are safe. And so is Jordan. With a newfound respect for each other, an alliance was formed. I wanted to talk to you about partnering up. I was thinking the same thing. I, I don't think anyone would suspect no. it. Trying to ensure her safety, Lydia went to work on Russell. Jesse and Natalie, they say that you constantly lie to them. But he quickly spilled the beans. I just found out Jesse wants to take me out, so do you, and so do you. That's what that bitch said? Yeah. And turned former allies against each other. That pisses me off is when people <laughs> lie. But that's part of her but game. But notice though. how how it didn't even come out until your HOH. That's what Lydia does. She switches every week to whoever has power. That's whose uh, butt she kisses. Unsure of where he stood with Russell, Ronnie tried to strike a deal. My allegiance always has been and always will be to you, Jesse, Natalie, and Shima and our team. That's who my allegiance is to. But at the nomination ceremony, Russell kept his word to Jeff. I've decided to nominate Lydia and Ronnie for eviction. Who will win the power of veto? And will it be used to save either Ronnie or Lydia from eviction? It all happens now on Big Brother. Right and cowgirl. I've decided to nominate Lydia and Ronnie for eviction. Ronnie, you've lied to every single person in this game, and you've been a snake. Well, if you're going to catch a snake, you got to be a mongoose. And I'm that mongoose. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. I decided to put Ronnie on the block. I wanted to uh, really see where everyone's loyalties lie, who they were going to side with, uh, me or Ronnie, and uh, go from there. Russell definitely wants me out of the house this week, but I do have allies. I've risen from worse scenario than this before, so who knows what the future holds. Russell held up his end of the bargain and saved me and Jordan. At this point, I'm telling Jordan, let's just lay low this week. I used to be in an alliance with Russell, but now Russell has nominated me. I'm on the blog, and I have no idea where I stand at the moment. I really hope I stay. Oh, yeah. POV can change everything. Yeah. Well, if I win POV, I'll pull you off. I'll say I'll pull your name. Don't you feel a little bit better? No. Against Ronnie? No matter who you go against, you don't feel good. If I can convince Russell to keep me, I will be staying this week. Come in. If I have to cry in order to get some success right now, I have no shame when it comes to that. What's going on, Ron? Absolutely no hard feelings. You I got mean it. that on every level. I absolutely do realize I, I re shouldn't have gone in there and talked to Lydia. I understand how that could be a slap in your face. Russell's a liar. Uh, you don't tell me, I know what you're talking about. And I don't know, Ronnie, maybe you're a mastermind and you have some secret deal with him. No. I have never gone against you. I have never done anything to even try and damage your game in this house. I never would do anything to go against you. 
I want to stay in this house. I want us all to keep the team together. And I want us to get Lydia and Kevin, those stupid floaters, out of this house. So I don't know if there's something we can work out. I will do anything to stay in this house. If that means you want me to put up specific people for the team, I will do that. Well, he definitely made some good points. And um, let me sit and marinate on it. Absolutely. I have absolutely zero sympathy for Ronnie. I know he's acting at this point. And it's fake. He can't even fake cry. He's not selling me on anything he does. Ronnie has made his bed and now he can lie in it. And I'll be more than happy to put the tombstone on his grave. Appreciate it, man. Are you seriously just ringing the doorbell? Ooh. You really just ringing ring the doorbell? I'm just gonna walk in your room. Walk in. I don't know what kind of privileges I have. <laughs> you so made your bed. Ugh. Russell is definitely a tough guy, very, you know, masculine, and he's hot. I'm sorry, my TV's not working. I can't put on the newest movie. Uh, we can't watch TV. This date sucks. <laughs> so, what's going on? Fill me in. On what? On uh, everything now. Nothing. Now that settled, what do you think? I think Lydia should go home. I'm gonna do what you want. Really? Yeah. Okay, I hope so. I'm gonna do what you want. I just wanna express that I want Lydia to go home. No, I want Ronnie gone first. I have no problem with Lydia going. I just don't wanna do it. I want Ronnie out first. Mm -hmm. I can uh, pretty much figure out who's gonna vote where. Jeff Jordan, uh, Kevin, and uh, Michelle are gonna vote to evict him. Okay, why do you hate him so much? He, he has lied to me. It's not once, it's not twice. It's been a repeated occurring thing. Do I think I can actually trust him? No. Can I trust you? Yeah, I trust you more than I trust him. This is your week, and I'll do what you want. Oh, well, thank you. I think Ronnie is a stand-up guy. I think he has my best interest in mind. Compared to Lydia, she's not really trying to win anything. Ronnie's more of an asset due to he owes me a couple more solids than, uh, than Lydia does. It's Lydia. Lydia is the bitch that needs to leave. The plan is to vote Lydia out. Ron Russell and I discussed it. The hell we did. She's not going. I want Ronnie to go first. You're having tunnel vision. Uh, you're having tunnel vision. You're making this strictly personal rather than strategic. No, you're making it personal. No, I'm not. I have no personal attachment to it at all. Like, if she were to win HOH next week, she would definitely backdoor you. I have no problem with no, that. No, and then what'd she say? She okay. said no. She let, said let, let a lot me of people explain are scared something. to put Russell Hold on, let me explain something real quick. Lydia and Ronnie both bought me out. I understand this. I have no problem with this. Ronnie right now has done me wrong several times. He's gonna say what he needs to say to appease to you and then go and talk to someone else. Yes, you have an attachment because he did take you off. He was at deciding vote. I respect that, I understand that. Myself, Shima, and Jesse, as much as we want Ronnie to stay and we're trying to do everything we can to keep him here, we do have to do it on the DL because if not, um, it'll be our butts on the block. I've given him a chance. I reached out to him. I came up to him when no one else was out here and he still did it again. He went against us. He told them everything. He talked about every one of you, how we can get you guys out. I, I'm just done with you. I, I just can't keep pushing you along and expect that you're not gonna burn me every single time. Right, no, I understand. Jesse and Natalie are definitely scared. They are at the bottom of the pecking order and they're starting to feel a lot of pressure. I know exactly what's going on, but there's absolutely no reason to keep Ronnie. It all comes down to what happens tomorrow in the POV. Yeah. But, Russell, I'm flying out. Do we respect the decision and take Ronnie out, or do we do what's better for us in the game? Russell's not gonna budge as far as keeping Ronnie, so we're gonna have to try through Michelle and see if uh, she could vote to keep him here. This is the thing about Lydia. Depending on who is in power, that's that's who she is aligned with. She. She does weekly alliances, you know what I'm saying? She switches every week and she throws everybody under the bus. 
Would you want Ronnie over Lydia, though? I mean, what do you want? I don't trust him. I mean, I really value you and Jesse and Shima, but him, I was always like. So far, I've been laying low in the house. This week, I have to calculate really where my safety lies because the house is completely split down the middle with me standing <laughs> there at the, at the line. Are you gonna play? Yeah, sure. I don't think I ever played you. So what are your feelings? about the scenario. It's, it's definitely gonna have to be after the POV. Yeah, so yeah, the, the position I felt like I was in right now was just like, how am I the deciding vote? And I'm like, I feel like. You definitely are. If we were gonna do something, we'd obviously need to have you on board. No, I know I'm gonna make enemies this right. week, but it's gotta happen. It's too much work being friends with everyone. Michelle is a floater. Nobody knows where the floater's head is. It's really gonna come down to whether or not Ronnie has a friend in Michelle. And if not, then it's not looking good for the poor chap. Hey everybody, it's time to pick players for the veto competition. Only six people will participate in the veto competition. The head of the household, the two nominees, and three other players selected by random draw. Will the nominees please come join me up here? Worst case scenario would be Kevin, Jordan, Jeff. None of the three of them would use the veto to save me. The player I would like to see come out of the bag for the veto competition is Kevin, because he's my like sugar bear and he will totally protect me and take me off the block. Michelle. You wrestle? So figures, the one person who we don't want picked is Michelle because she is a floater in this game and we don't know where she stands. So if she were to win, I have no idea what she would do. Booyah, Jesse. Kevin. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I also have to choose a host for the veto competition. And I choose Shima. Ooh. Oh my goodness. When I walked out into the yard, I saw a bunch of different little areas, statues, feathers, arrows. Oh, Shima, did you see your chariot? It's got Shimakas. That's so cool. That dude's real, no? Yeah. Yeah, wow. Can I touch a kiss? <laughs> Come on, this guy's lubed up with baby oil. This ain't even fair. Great warriors of ancient Rome, you now have five minutes to look over the items. We see various random objects just strewn about in the backyard, and instantly we knew what the competition was gonna be about. Guessing the quantity of various items found in the backyard. How many marks do you have on you? There's a crate that said Roman okay. Underworld. So I stick my head up in it. Holy crap. What do you know? Rats. Great. And I'm officially beginning T-minus countdown until the first Ronnie's a rat joke. It is so important for me to win this veto competition because I can ensure my safety and take Lydia off the block as well. Best case scenario was me winning so I could save myself. Second best case scenario definitely was Jesse winning because Jesse would use it on me. For sure the worst case scenario would be Kevin winning and taking Lydia down, and then one of my closest friends in this house will be put on the block opposite me. The object of the game is to earn three points. To earn a point, you must win a round. For each round, the great and mighty Big Brother Kiss will ask you a question about one of the items. Each answer is always an amount. You will write down what you think is the correct amount, then everyone will reveal what they wrote down. After you've seen what everyone has written down, you'll have two options, stay or fold. If you fold, you cannot earn a point for that round. 
but you're still in the game and may continue when the next question is asked. If you're confident in your answer, then choose to stay and battle it out for the point. If your answer is closest to the actual amount, you will earn the point. But if you stay and your answer is furthest from the actual amount, you will be eliminated from the competition. The first player to earn three points will win the power of veto. Let's start counting. Here is what five jewels look like. Write down how many jewels you think are on the emperor's chariot. Michellus, please reveal your answer. I think there's 350 jewels. Lydias. I think there's 123 jewels. Russicus. I think there's 200 jewels. Ronicus. There are 340 jewels. Kevinus. I think there's 515 jewels. Jessifus. I think there's 365 jewels. So how confident does everyone feel with their answers? It is time to lock in your decision to stay or fold. Michellus, what have you decided to do? Fold. Lydias. I've decided to fold. Russicus. Fold. It's basically a poker game without cards. I decided to fold because I want to see how people are playing, if they're playing aggressively or if they're playing conservative. Ronicus. Fold. Kevinus. Fold with 515. Jessifus. I decided to stay. Well, Jessifus, congratulations. You won the point because you're the only one who stayed. But let's see what number is in the envelope. 514 jewels. Woo! I was like one jewel away. Kevinus, if you would have had the confidence to stay, you would have won this round. I didn't want to win anyway, so whatever. <laughs> Jesse was the only one who stayed, so as far as I'm concerned, bing! That's good for me. Here's what five arrows looks like. How many arrows are in this shield? Michellus, please reveal your answer. 879 arrows. Lydias. 85 arrows. 215 arrows. There are 200 arrows. There's 490 arrows. There's 125 arrows. Lock in your decision to stay or fold. Michellus. Fold. Fold. I decided to stay. Fold. My strategy was fold, 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 try and push people out of this game. Kevinus. Shimicus, I decided to grow some this round <laughs> and stay. <laughs> I decided to stay as well. Russicus, Kevinus, and Josephus have decided to stay for this round. The total number of arrows in this shield is 213 arrows. Damn right. Congratulations, Russicus. You have won the point for this item. Sorry, Kevinus. Since you are the furthest from the correct amount, you are eliminated from the competition. Kevin was my only other glimmer of hope to take myself off the block. All right, this is what 40 grapes looks like. How many grapes you think are on the platter? 401 grapes. There are 241 grapes. Approximately 320. 240. 313. Michelle, stay or fold? Fold. Stay. Fold. Stay. Stay. There are 907 grapes yes. on the platter. Holy crud. Nice job, Russicus. Get ready to pack your bags, boy. Lydia, since you are furthest away from the correct amount, you are eliminated from the competition. Wait it, Russell. I'm definitely trusting in the Russell at this moment. What do you know? Off beats out again. Bye-bye, Lydia. Russicus is in the lead with two points. 
Josephus is in second place with one point, and Ronicus and Michellus are still in the game with zero points. Russicus, you need one more point to win the veto. This is what 13 marks on a belt look like. Write down how many marks you think are on the belt are gladiators wearing. Michellus, please reveal your answer. 280 marks. 246 marks. 270. 101 marks. Let's see how confident our warriors were. Michellus? I've decided to finally stay. Fold. Fold as well. Regrettably to fold. Michelle, you're the only one that decided to stay, so you automatically win a point. Thank you. Let's see how many marks were on the hot guy's belt. I mean, <laughs> gladiator's belt. 177 marks. <laughs> and we're moving on to the next round. Rats infested many areas of Rome. Write down how many rats you think are in the Roman underworld. Everyone in the house knows that I work with rats, so if I decided to go with a way lowball number and try to throw them off. Michellus, 51 rats. I know there are 46 rats. There are 125 rats. Did you include yourself? 78 rats. Michelle, stay or fold? I'm going to stay. I decide to fold. 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 Michelle, once again, you're the only one that decided to stay, earning you a second point. The total number is... 149 rats. There is a certain element of this veto competition that you gotta bluff or call people's bluffs. And honestly, I should have known that Michelle was bluffing. I second guessed myself. I'm a gambler and I know how to play my cards right. Ronnie likes to go around the house proclaiming he's smart, but I'm the one with the PhD, so I think you're a lot dumber than me. Ronicus, if you decided to stay, you would have won a point for this round. Tied with two points each, we have Russicus and Michellus. Ronicus, you have no points. And Jesse, you still have one point and you're still in the game. This is what 10 feathers looks like. Write down how many feathers you think are in this helmet. Michellus, please reveal your answer. 68 feathers. There are 163 feathers. 95 feathers. 130 feathers. So how confident does everyone feel with their answers? I decided to stay. I decided to fold. Fold. I, too, decided to stay. When Michelle got her two free points, I was a little bit more upset than anything. I wasn't going to let her just get handed another free one. Now let's reveal the total number of feathers in this helmet. 92 feathers. Woo! Congratulations, Michelle. You've earned your third point, and you have won the power of veto. Congratulations. After winning the power of veto for the second time in a row, now I have more power than the HOH because I control not only the veto, but I'm the swing vote. I have all the power this week. Everybody says that they will vote out Ronnie, which I hope stays true. I hope Ronnie does not get into people's heads. Even though I did not win the veto, I definitely have a chance and a heartbeat in this house because everyone has a price. And over the next couple of days, I'm going to find out exactly what Michelle's price is for using the veto on me. You did freaking awesome. I'm proud of you. Thank you. You won the second veto. 
This is weird. <laughs> you earned it. <laughs> Great job, Michelle. Awesome. Congratulations, Michelle. That's good. So whether you decide not to use it or not, you're safe. And even if you did decide to use it with one of us, you can't go up, so. Best of all worlds. I hold the fate of the two nominees in my hands. It's very awesome to know that I have the power to save or uh, send Ronnie home. I mean, and Michelle, I'm not, I'm not above begging. I mean, what? I don't know what I can do. But I swear, I've been nothing but honest with you since all this. So see. All that I ask is, if you really do trust me, Jesse, Natalie, and Shima, and you want to be part of the vibe, then I know you would use it on me. We'll talk. Did hang out? Hang on. Yeah. Upstairs? Yeah. Let's go. How could this just happen? Everybody just went inside. I don't know. I think Michelle is very shady in this game. I think she's playing all sides. So for Michelle and Russell to be talking, it makes you wonder, hey, what what's really going on here? I mean, you're in a similar boat. Like, I don't have a, a, like a personal friend in this place where like Kevin and Lydia are a team. Yeah. Jeff and Jordan are a team. Mm -hmm. Natalie and Jesse are a team. I don't have anyone as my yeah. team. Yeah. I have to win to stay here. And I think you're in the same yeah, boat. Yeah, I'm in, exactly in the same boat. I want to be on your team. <laughs> now that she has the power of veto, it's very important to figure out what Michelle's thinking and get on her side and uh, see if I can use this relationship down the road. But definitely, if, you, if you're down, I don't think anyone would know. I think it would be a scary tandem. It's a killer. <laughs> Look at them, they're just like, like they're always together, they're always going. Like, You're so sad, they're like, how is Michelle still there? <laughs> Come in. Let me know if you guys want to play chess or anything, we're just gonna be chilling out here. Okay. Yeah. You know what's weird is like, they'll come in like, just to keep tabs on me to see like what I'm doing, and I'm like, I know you guys are like threatened. Like, he's super threat because he, he's not as smart as me. You know what I mean? I gotta go to the bathroom first. Are you going to the bathroom in there? Let him talk, because they're gonna talk regardless, you know? Okay. That's how I see it. She might not be saying anything. No, I can't win anything. She just won anything. Yeah. But she's, she's not winning. She's skating by on me and Jesse. Mm -hmm. Us not going upstairs could be a downfall for us. I think we should go up. All I'm saying is, regardless of whether we're there or not, they've already talked. Well, as long as you trust me now, that's all that matters. I mean, I did trust you. I was never going to put you out of the house. I wasn't going to nominate you. Well, just you just... trust me as far as what I'm saying, like what yeah. I've said before and like how I stood up. Yeah, you're a stand-up guy. <sighs> Michelle is starting to trust me. She believes in me. I think she is smart. She is an intelligent player, but I do have to make sure that Michelle does not use the veto, so I will be keeping a very close eye on her. But why the f is she sitting there? She's not that interesting, nor is she. When it comes to Michelle, nobody exactly knows what this girl is thinking. Seeing them in that room for so long together kind of made me wonder. I'm actually worried about the fact that they could use the power of veto in Shice Jesse week four. Ugh. What up? She's not voting for you, dude, just so you know. No, I understand. Um, your only hope is to possibly convince her. Try, dude, it's not gonna hurt you. Try. Offer her what anything you gotta do. I had tried compassionately and very politely stating to Michelle the obvious benefits of me staying. Now it was time to be a little more forceful. I know you don't want me in the house. And let me just say this, Kevin and Lydia, 
owe no allegiance to anyone. But Jesse, Natalie, and Shima, I am 100% with them. Mm -hmm. So if I leave this house, I know who do you think they will blame for my eviction? I know. I know. And then the cheese stands alone. I hope you see, because you're very smart, strategically it actually significantly weakens you. And thinking logically about this game, you will be evicted if I leave that door, and you will not make it to the final two. Schemers. That's his catchphrase, huh? Schemers. Schemers. I told him I was gonna get a shirt that said Schemers on it. I'm doing Schemers and Technotronics. Oh, you and Technotronics are best friends. You and Lydia are best friends. Me and Lydia? No, she's your, actually, she's your girlfriend. I'm best friend. Oh, actually, no, it's not Lydia, it's Michelle, I'm sorry. <laughs> she should be a comedian, you should give up your day job. I had a good conversation with Michelle last night. Oh yeah? About what? Just getting to know her. So did Russell. What was that? I yeah. said so did Russell. Yeah, that's what I thought. I repeat myself. I heard what I said the first time. Uh, no, you're just a little bit scared to say it. It's all right. I'm scared? Damn right you are. Yeah, right. You wish. You guys love each other. <laughs> yeah. More mustard. <laughs> Shima's gotten very jealous. She didn't like it when Lydia was talking to me. She didn't like it when Michelle would talk to me. She's become that possessive girlfriend that I've always dreaded. If I can go in there and see what she was like. Lydia's not your new best friend, Michelle is. I was like, oh, you're funny. You should be a comedian. You should get up your day job. She's like, she's starting to wear my last night. Her little comments in a maniacal laugh. <laughs> I should just put her ass up instead of her ass. See? She's pissing me off, I'll tell you that much. Did Russ say anything? He's just pissed off at Shima. Oh, she was coming up here. Oh, no, no, I need to. I want to go back downstairs. Oh, kitty. What's going on? Seriously, nothing. Mm -hmm. It's really nothing. He said something about you commented on like him being best friends with Jeff now, and then as Michelle too. Mm -hmm. And he told me that just now. You know, like don't. Oh think no, he anything. said something about Lydia, and then I said, no, that's Michelle. Yeah. Michelle's your new girlfriend now, something like that. Oh, okay. He didn't think it was funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He didn't like me saying that. It's the truth. Mm -hmm. Ha, 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 funny. Right? That's why he said what he said. I don't know why he's taking it to heart. Like, he, oh boy, he's like, I don't understand. Da, 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 da. Understand what? No, understand like why he's getting so much grief. I'm just like, Oh, dude, for me? Yeah. Just why like, wouldn't he just talk to me then? I know, I know, I know, I don't know. Russell started acting funny. Russell's trying to put it all on me, like I'm jealous. Well, it's, it really doesn't matter what I'm, is what I'm saying, but like this can turn into something. Russell getting upset about um, the Michelle thing. Yeah, the comments that I made. Honestly, Shima, here's the thing though. I would not be shocked if he's convinced Michelle to use the veto on Lydia and he puts you, Jesse, or Natalie up opposite me. Michelle will regret putting me out mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. she's touched. She's yeah, stupid. Yeah. She has a bunch of book smarts. She has no common sense. Mm -hmm. It's Russell and Michelle. It's like the one, two TKO, man. Right. He's not anywhere near as smart as he thinks he is. He thinks he's really smart. No, he's not. He didn't tell me specifically, yeah. but he makes, you know he's paranoid, right? He has no more power after tomorrow. Wait. Hey.
it just ugh. like get over yourself. Dude, I'm real so hard. Everything you guys were saying. I don't care. Well, you don't, cause you're going home. But she's not. He he always thinks he heard something. You know what the thing is? The reason why I, I am not coming out there is because I will go off on him. And it will turn into a scene because I think it's that I can't talk to Ronnie about anything without him thinking we're scheming. And the only reason why he thinks we're scheming is because he's a paranoid who keeps lying to people. <sighs> when push comes to shove, it's not like we didn't know this already. You see what I'm saying? Now he just knows we know. Do you understand? So just like just keep it exactly. I'm sorry, man. We tried. I swear to God, did we not try? No, I know. No. But no, what I'm no, saying no. is, what I'm saying is, you don't go down with him, Chima. Exactly. You know what I'm that's, that's. that's and, and we I already know that. Friend, he okay, Chima. No, I prob I'm not defending him, and you know I'm not. Yeah. Direct the attention somewhere else. There's nothing we can do. <sighs> so I don't. I really want to go and confront him, but I know that's not good right no. before the police. No. Ronnie and Shima have a very close relationship. If that's the case, it pretty much lets me know that Shima's not on my side, so there's no point keeping her here. veto I really am in a position to change up the game a lot of people have been courting my votes trying to get on my good side it's a tricky balance trying to make strategic moves but I think I can do it I do know that Michelle heard my arguments as to why she should use the veto on me but who knows what deals she has what irons she has in the fire so I don't feel safe at all I am 100% worried when it comes to Michelle, nobody exactly knows what this girl is thinking. I'm definitely a little worried going into the veto ceremony only because Russell and I haven't been getting along. And Russell is puppeting Michelle. So he could very much get into Michelle's head and make her use it and then he puts me up. Hey everyone, it's time for the veto meeting. Ronnie and Lydia have been nominated for eviction this week. But I have the power to save one of you. I'm gonna give each of you a chance to tell me why I should use the power veto to save you from the nomination block. Ronnie, I'm gonna give you the chance to lie first. I mean, speak. Uh, Michelle, you won the power veto fair and square. I definitely would not ask for you to use it on me, nor would I expect you to, but I respect your decision either way. Michelle, you already know what I'm going to say. I don't expect you to use the veto on me. You're rad, you rock. I enjoy hanging out with you, so do whatever you want. Well, thank you both. I thought a lot about this, and with that, I've decided to use the power of veto on No one. This veto meeting is now adjourned. Right now, the line has been drawn in the sand. I'm standing on one side and I'm there with my teammates and, you know, hopefully I'm on the winning team and I'm ready to get this fight started. The lines have definitely been drawn now and I do consider Michelle a new ally. I don't feel like I have a guaranteed pass. I really hope Ronnie doesn't have the mystery power. I definitely am not a quitter. I do not give up. Um, even when I'm beaten, I'm a fighter. So I definitely have a few more moves that this house has not seen yet. And hopefully I'll get a chance to play them. Who will be evicted from the Big Brother house? Lydia or Ronnie? Who will become the new head of household? And who has America chosen to receive the power of coup d'etat? Find out live.
Thursday at 8, 7 Central on Big Brother.